Today I'm gonna to be talking about things I own one of as a minimalist. I've been seeing these videos around on the YouTube and I thought they were pretty interesting, especially if you are pursuing a more intentional and minimalistic type of life. And it's probably just because I'm a little nosy, but I thought I would do my own version of this video today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina and I talk all about minimalism, intentional living, and intentional spending. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, then please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you aren't already, please subscribe. And this video is sponsored by Skillshare, but more on them later. So it turns out there's quite a few things that I only own one of. I wish that applied more to my wardrobe, but as we continue to declutter there, I'll show you what I have that's flying solo. The first thing I only own one of is a belt. And I used to have two belts, but I have since decluttered that. I am down to one, and it's this Western style belt that is my tactical pants retaining system. This isn't a belt, it's a tactical pants retaining system. I think I bought this belt a few years ago from Urban Outfitters when I was obsessed with Claire Marshall's videos. I think that's who inspired the initial purchase. But I actually really like this belt and I find it works with a lot of my outfits that I choose to incorporate a belt with. I find it helps sort of break things up. I like the chunky detailing on it, but it doesn't overpower what I'm wearing and it doesn't turn what I'm wearing into this Western inspired type of outfit. So I really like it, it's really versatile. And I only ever found myself needing one. The next thing I only own one of is I think pretty specific to Canada and that's a pair of mittens. It's okay, I guess I have two mittens, but you do have two hands, so this counts as one. I've had these for many, many years and they've held up pretty nicely. The inside of them I need to like sew back in together because that's coming apart a little bit, but these are really warm. They do the job for me in Canadian winters and in Canada, you need a good pair of mittens. Gloves for me in a Canadian winter are not enough. You definitely need mittens. They're a little bit more heavy duty. They're thicker, they're warmer in my opinion, and your fingertips don't get as icy cold as they would if you were wearing gloves. And these ones are awesome. I have the hat or toque or whatever that goes with it. This is all I got for winter hand protection. The third thing I only own one of is a pair of workout shoes. And I actually haven't really even been using them to work out because in quarantine, we've been doing a lot of workouts at home and I've been doing them mostly barefoot. And I don't have my shoes here to show you because I brought them to work and I've been wearing them to work to stand at work in the pharmacy a little bit more comfortably. They're just a pair of Nike Air something something, but I only have one pair of workout shoes. I have a lot of pairs of like non-workout casual sneakers, but in terms of formal working out, exercising, running, jogging, jumping, whatever, I only have one pair. And I think maybe I'll use them again eventually when gyms reopen here in Toronto, but for now, they're my standing shoes. The next thing I only have one of is my phone. I need to clean this thing. So I have the iPhone Pro Max and I don't know, I've seen it. There's people who have like a work cell phone, a personal cell phone. I've seen lots of people with multiple cell phones. I only have one. I do my work on here, like my Instagramming, replying to YouTube comments, creating thumbnails on YouTube. I do it all on my phone. And I think it's more than enough to carry around this guy. I really couldn't imagine myself needing more than one cell phone, but some people do, I guess. Okay, speaking of Apple products, I only have one laptop slash computer. I see a lot of people who have like a laptop, an iPad and a desktop, especially if they are creators or do a lot of work in the computer. I do see a lot of that, but for me, I just use my 2018 MacBook Pro. This does everything that I need it to do. This has been doing all of my editing. I edit my thumbnails on here. I write my videos on here. I watch YouTube videos on here. I do everything on this laptop. And so far it's worked really well for me. I do like the idea of this being portable. You know, if like coffee shops open up again, I'd like to do some editing there, things like that. So this I think is pretty typical. I don't know too many people who have more than one laptop per se, but I do see a lot of people who have more than one computer. This next one's pretty random. And it's that I only have one bathing suit. This one is a two piece like bikini set thing. It's from a Toronto brand called Saltwater Collective. I think they're from Toronto. I've never worn it. 
Probably because I'm not that much of a beach bum, I tend to stay out of the sun. I am definitely a person who covers up and lives in the shade. I think a bathing suit is one thing that I'm okay with having as just in case. Yeah, I know a lot of people like to have multiples of those, multiple bathing suits, multiple swimsuits, bikinis. I don't feel the need to have more than one. Mine's in a nice basic black. Looks good on the bum, looks good on the top, is flattering. I feel good in it. That's all I need. I think you guys already know this, but I only have one wallet that is pretty mangled, pretty old. It's an old wallet from Coach that my sister gave me. You may have seen this in my what's in my bag video. Um, a few of you suggested to take like a Mr. Clean magic eraser and clean it up um, to get all the marks off of it. I don't know if this is like wear and tear or if it's just dirty. Um, and then a few of you also suggested that I could re-dye this. I've never dyed leather on my own before, but I, so I think that might actually be an option because it's a fine wallet. There's nothing wrong with it. The zipper's not broken. It's not fraying anywhere. It's just got some wear and tear on here. I've said before I get made fun of because of this wallet because it's so mangled and like pretty worn in. And sometimes I do feel a little self-conscious with it, but I'm like, whatever, who cares? It does what I need it to do. I don't really feel the need to spend $800, $900 on like a Louis Vuitton or YSL wallet. That's just not money well spent for me. It holds my cards, it holds my change. What else do I really need it to do? The next thing I only own one of is a backpack. You guys have seen this backpack in my what's in my bag video. I'm not much of a purse person. I don't really carry around handbags or tote bags, things like that. For my everyday carry, I am definitely a backpack person. This one's from a female-owned Toronto-based brand called Samara. It's called their Ocean Backpack. It's made up of recycled bottles and it's just a really nice, chic, sleek, minimalist backpack. It's in this like navy blue color but I carry this thing around with me every day. And the main thing I need it to do is it holds my laptop, it holds, it can hold my vlog camera, it holds like my water bottle, things like that. Everything I need to carry around with me every single day is in this backpack. And I don't really have a need to carry around more than one. This one's random, but it is true for me nonetheless. And I only have one eyelash curler. I don't know why, I've seen a bunch of videos, like makeup tutorials here and there where people compare different eyelash curlers or when they're doing their voluminous eyelash routines, they use this eyelash curler and then they follow up with this one and then there's ones that are like half the size. I just have one, it's the Shu Amira eyelash curler. I have pretty like straight lashes and I find this does, you know, kind of lift them and open them up. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's very out of the ordinary to only have one, but I mean, I have seen people who insist on having more than one or different kinds. What do you think? And before we finish, just a quick word from today's sponsor, Skillshare. Girl still in debt, gotta pay those bills. Oh, hi there. I'm just working on the title card that you saw in today's video, and I'm doing it by hand lettering in Procreate because I just took Gia Graham's course on how to do exactly that. You know, I'm really good at reading bad handwriting. I'm a pharmacist. We read terrible handwriting all day long and my handwriting itself is not that great either. So I wanted to really learn how to draw and write better just for myself and to add cute little finishing touches to my videos. So Gia's class goes into a lot of detail. It's really easy to follow along. You don't even need to be an artist or have good handwriting to get started with this class. Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of classes that they update all the time. So you can pretty much learn whatever it is you want to, whether it's skills for your business or photography or to just channel a little bit of creativity in some artwork. For less than $10 a month for the yearly subscription you get access to thousands of classes that they update all the time and what I really love about it is that you can reach out to the instructors or to the community at any time if you have any questions or if you need some help on your own projects so if you're interested in trying Skillshare yourself the first thousand people to click the link down below will get a free premium membership trial okay let's get back into the video so the final thing I'm gonna talk about in this video is my jewelry box slash case. It's this vegan leather one, again, from the brand Samara. It's in this nice like cognac color. I like it cause it holds everything that I need. It's got a little space for rings in here. It's got room for like my more costumey jewelry, some earrings that I switch out here and there. I can definitely do a whole jewelry 
tour if you guys want me to. And I've seen, you know, a lot of other people, they have like a whole drawer for their jewelry in their wardrobes and things like that. I think depending on the size of your jewelry collection and how much of a jewelry lover you are, the whole jewelry box display case thing can get pretty ornate. But this is all I have, this is all I need. And what I like about this is that it's a limited size with limited space. So if I wanna add new jewelry, I have to be really careful about what I already have and what I'm willing to let go of if I wanna bring in another piece. Because it's gotta, it's gotta be able to fit in here. That's how I sort of limit myself. So this protects all of my gold and gold-plated jewelry really nicely. And it's just really sleek and minimalist and cute. And it's vegan leather. So those are just a couple of things that I only own one of. Let me know if you guys own multiples of these things or if you're like me and only really feel the need to have one of each. Leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you. See you in the next one, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.